That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaya and today we are going to be listening to Sabotage and their song Hall of the Mountain King for the very first time. This is the first time I've ever listened to Sabotage. I'm so excited. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to Wicket. Uh, many of you know him. He's a tier three Patreon member. Um, and, and Wicket has sent me so much Sabotage stuff from vinyl records to this shirt right here to an entire CD collection that literally spells out Sabotage on the CD binds. And I'm, I'm just so grateful for you wicket honestly so this video is for you sabotage heavy power metal uh from the 80s from tampa florida the birth of the birthplace of death metal so the hall of the mountain king came out in 1987 uh which is literally when death started creating music so this is kind of a seminal moment i'm, I'm really interested to hear this song so without further ado let's get into it Love this part. Thank you. 
you little tease. You're going to hit me with that and then you're going to just fade out? I got such a front wedgie girl. Delicious ending riff. Loved it. Uh, huh. I'm definitely getting Queensryche and oh, uh, I'm getting, there's another band. I just had it there. Uh, oh my gosh. Who is it? I'm definitely getting Queensryche and Metal Church with this. And it's interesting too because maybe it's just because I'm a huge Death fan and this is from when Death started, but I'm... I'm getting death sound a little bit with um, especially the guitar tones. Um, it's just so cool that it's from like the same year um, and it's from Tampa, Tampa, Florida, which, you know, Florida is just the breeding ground for all of that stuff. Definitely, definitely getting just the best of like um, 80s metal from this time this is when 80s this is just when metal was kind of popping, was really starting to be birthed into the world. Um, Hall of the Mountain King. I first off love the hold after madness reigns and he holds it in the hall of the mountain king. Like, love it. Love it. Love his high. Oh, yes. That's very Queens Reiki. Um, a nice high range, just like the boys in Metal Church. Um, and, you know, it's got that 80s reverb on it, so it's nice. Just good classic 80s heavy metal, power metal. Um, I feel like this is more... Uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of the same. I guess, I guess it's both of those things, because from what I understand, power metal is a little more fantasy driven um which you know like you talk a lot about vikings and um fantasy stuff at least correct me if i'm wrong that's what i understand right now we haven't really had much or any power metal bands on the channel which we are going to change that but this is like hall of the mountain king's kind of the most power metal-y part of this where i feel like instru like lyric wise and then instrumentally it's heavy metal uh loved the little like uh giggle the laughter after uh in this ending madness reigns haha <laughs> my friends and then he goes into the in the hall of the mountain king loved that great little play on the on the uh lyrics there um this solo was really interesting <laughs> and then you have the bananan so it's like they they play that for such a long time that it could honestly they could have just replaced that whole section with the solo but I like it I like that they just like teased it as like let's just have this kind of be a not solo solo where it's just this riff and then they're doing the did -did -did and just teasing it and then they finally open it up so it's kind of like a way of of building the tension um, while also just landing you with a slappy riff um, that is a great melody um, can get stuck in your head love that love that so honestly uh, I really like this um, song and I am excited to check out more of Sabotage. I was looking at this record and was thinking about uh, possibly doing a deep dive into this. Um, so they've got a couple instrumental tracks on here. It's under 40 minutes too. So that would be like a no problem listen for me. Sometimes these metal bands got really long albums, girl, and it's hard to sit through some of them. I'm going to just be real. Um, but Sabotage, you will have to let me know. What do you think about Hall of the Mountain King, the record, the song? What do you think about this band? I'm curious. So that came out, Hall of the Mountain King came out in September 1987. They're from Tampa. Let's go to death real quick. I just want to see something. So, Al Altamont Springs, Florida. I'm not really sure where that is in comparison to Tampa, but Scream Bloody Gore came out in May. Wow. So, it is possible 
that sabotage they had been in the industry longer than death at this point because based on metal archives they were in there from 83 so it could be possible that they listened to death's uh, debut scream bloody gore which came out in may of that same year and they and keep in mind you know sabotage released hall the mountain king in september they could have listened to it and got some inspiration because i definitely heard some similar vibes and again that could just be the decade and how music was back then um and what was popular for you know music and guitar tones and stuff like that back then um for example reverb on the vocals heavy reverb on basically all 80s records (laughs) was very very popular back then so i don't know that's really cool just putting the timeline together for myself anyway that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed please like this video comment down below and share this video with a friend it really helps out my channel if you want to subscribe to the channel as well please feel free to do so i post weekly videos documenting my metal journey as a brand new metal head i also have a discord at the mosh pit there's an invite link down below in my description as well (sighs) As my P.O. Box, if you want to send something to be featured in one of my metal unboxing videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.